My story is featured in this book, which is now on Amazon. Let's cheekly chat about it. Cheekly? If you guys have been checking out my social media, I've been posting that we're going to be making a new Cheekly Chat episode on April 8th. April Fools, because I decided to make this video and share it right now. Because it is April, and April means it is Autism Awareness Month. And I'm wearing blue because I look good in this polo shirt, and it's a nice shade of blue. But most importantly, it's Autism Awareness Month, and I had to light it up blue. So, in today's episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about this book. You guys have probably saw a video on TikTok, you probably saw my social media, and before we even go further, I want to take this time to thank Harry Magro, who edited this novel, and uh, I should leave a link in the description for his YouTube channel, and if there is a link to Amazon, I'll probably leave it in the description as well, because I would love for you guys to get a copy of Autistics on Autism. Now before we go even further, please do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, because it is Autism Awareness Month. Show some love in the comments below, and subscribe to Chiclay Productions for more content. Now with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the book. So Autistics on Autism is pretty much 100 plus individuals with autism such as myself who wrote stories and goals and accomplishments in life and Carrie has collected all of the submitted essays including mine and he made it a book. I remember writing this about three years ago and then I submitted it to him to be featured in this novel. It's inspiring in my opinion. I think it's incredible and it also shows how these individuals with autism go through obstacle course in life and go through a bunch of challenges and still have that mentality to follow their dreams and accomplish goals. It is incredible. And uh, if you guys didn't know that I was on the autism spectrum and you guys just followed me and added me and subscribed to me, well, surprise! <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of look at the table of contents to see which page I am on. I believe it's 130, yes, 136. Autism and my dream to become a performer on Broadway. Let me give you guys a little sneak peek. Okay, we got 93, 111, 127, 131, 33, 35. Hey, there we go. As you guys can see right there, uh, let's get a better look. That's moi, rocking the flannel and rocking the tux, as always. Now, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but pretty much it just talks about what it was like in high school, what was it like dancing, and you know what I was doing in New York City when I was attending the Institute for American Musical Theater, and what I was doing with the community, whether I was um, a part of an autistic event or just being in the community in general, and talking about my goal of being on Broadway. Now, it's gonna take a while for me to get on Broadway, but it's gonna happen one day. But for now, I just wanna take this moment to share some inspiration with you guys as well. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in this book that are either currently in college or graduated college and they have pursued their degrees and their careers. Like there's a couple people on here who are pursuing in computer science, there's a guy in college football, and then there's another person, her name is Rachel, and I think, because I read this before making this video, because I wanted to read other stories, and she's on page 19, and let me see, 17, 19. Yes, so she says, I have autism and one day I want to open a school for children with disabilities. So this is Rachel right over here. Just wanted to give a shout out to one of the people who are also featured in this book, um, who I personally also follow on Instagram because I think what she's doing is awesome. I think just by reading the title, like I think that's super awesome that somebody is wanting to open up a school for those with disabilities, including autism. That's pretty amazing. And uh, so I just wanted to say like, I would recommend getting a novel because there's like a hundreds of more stories in this book, man. And I'm telling you, it's amazing. So do me a favor, go on Amazon, get your copy today. And uh, I just want to again, want to thank Carrie Magro for featuring me in this novel. And uh, thank you guys so much for being supportive over the years. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Cheek Late Chat. Peace out. Wow. <laughs>